Hello and welcome to Mrs. Brown's online classroom. Today we're going to talk about decimals and place value and comparing. So we're going to start with a brief review of place value. You're pretty comfortable with the stuff above the tens, the decimal point, the ones, the tens, the hundreds, the thousands, and the stuff below the decimal point, remember, goes tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths, and so on. Um, the reason this is, is because we have a base 10 number system. Base 10 means that all of the place values are based off of powers of 10. So for instance, 10 to the 0 power is 1, which is why we call that the 1's place. And 10 to the 1st power is 10, which is why we call that the 10's place. And 10 to the 2nd would be 100, which is why that's 100's place. If we go to the other side, 10 to the negative 1 is 1 tenth, which is why that's the 10's place. Notice we don't have a 1's place, because we don't have a power of 10 that would correspond to that. And then, so as we go through this, this is where those values came from. 10 to the negative 2 would be 1 over 100, so 1 hundredths, and then 10 to the negative 3 would be 1 thousandths, which is why that's the thousandths place, and so on. So as we take a look at this, again, keeping in mind that the thing that trips a lot of people up is there's no once place, and so that is because we don't have a power of 10 that would correspond to that. Okay. So if we take a look at then comparing, when we're comparing, we're looking at place value, and we're going to start by going here and moving over. So for instance, since the ones place is the same in both of these, we go over to the next place, which is the tenths place. Well, in the tenths place, five is bigger than four, which means that this number, two and 54 hundredths, is greater than two and 45 hundredths. If you take a look here, we start, you see how they're not the same length. Well, one of the things that you can do with decimals is at the end, you can always add a zero. So you can, take a look at it that way. And some people will then look at just the number behind the decimal point. If they're the same length, between 340 and 344, you'd say to yourself, well, 344 is bigger, so that means that 3 and 40, 34 hundredths is less than 3 and 344 thousandths. As you take a look at this one, again, comparing place value, the ones place is the same, you look at the tenths place is the same, the hundreds place, one is bigger than zero. So therefore, this number is less than this number. As you take a look at this one, again, I can make it the same length. If I look at the ones place, they're both the same. The tenths place, I've got a two and a one, so two is bigger than one. So nine and two tenths is greater. Um, and again, if I want to put, so they're the same length, you can also compare it by looking at that number behind as long as they're the same length. And since 23 is bigger than 20, we know that this number is greater than that number. I hope this helps and have a great day.